Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Fizzy on behalf of Flanker.com. I'm here to bring you a tutorial on how to use our latest tool. It's called the Collections Catalog. It's going to make life a hundred times easier when it comes to skinning guns in Blender. Um, a lot of people go through, they break down the gun, they save the project, and then you get to the stage of where you want to skin different guns and you open this and you go to here and you find all your different Blender files and it just takes too long. So we've come up with a way to break your gun down, click on your collection like this, and add to collection catalog. So I hit that, and as you can see down here, this is our new tool, the collections catalog. It's added a P350. Now, it's given me the options to either import to scene or remove my collection. But I'm not going to do any, any of these yet. First, I'm going to go and open another gun to show you exactly how this actually works. So first, I'm going to go to the CSR 50, and we're going to add that as well to our collection. So right click, add to collections catalog. And as you can see, it's now been added to there as well. And let's do an M200. This has now also been added down here. So if you want to go through, add all your guns, however many you've got into here, the reason for this catalog is to one, save file space, two, the headache of searching through all your files to try and find the gun that you broke down last week or the gun that you were working on the night before. And sometimes a lot of people will overwrite the files and, oh, that, that's it, you, you bro your broken down gun's completely gone. It's so easy to go like this, go like that, hit Control J, put it all together and save it, and then it's gone. Your breakdown's gone completely. So the whole method behind this is to have all your guns broken down in one part. So the way this works is every single time you add to the collections catalog, it creates a Blender file separate and it will just save there, it will just stay there. So you don't have to have a million and one project files all over your PC. Some people will have it in their documents, some people will have it in their videos, some people have it in their music. I've seen so many different people that where they work on so much Blender stuff, it just gets saved anywhere on their PC, anywhere they can, because they're doing different iterations of, of one version. But this just removes that element completely. And let me just emphasize as well that the collections catalog is not just for Daisy models. This can be for anything, anything Blender related. Even if, you, if you're making a scene for a movie, you can put your assets in here. You literally can put whatever you want in here, anything, if you're, if you're making a model. And the main reason for this is when you're skinning a gun, you have a certain texture and the way that you like the gun, how it looks. So. Say, for instance, you were making a red and blue gun and you really, really liked it and you wanted that on other guns. And you thought, right, how can I get this exact same texture into another project file with the gun I broke down last night and then be able to do the same thing to that and make it look exactly the same? You have your M200 broken down here. You've skinned it. You've put whatever you want and now you want to put it on your P350. No problem. Import to scene. Bang. It's in. That is what this tool is about. So it's going to save file space all over your PC. Whatever you add to this collection, it will remain at that state in this collection. So this M200, for instance, if I were to delete this from here now, just like this, and it's gone, turn this off, turn this off, and add it back to the collection, uh, back to the scene, sorry, as you can see, it's back exactly how it was before, anytime. So which, how, however it's saved, to your collection is how it will return, okay? But there is the remove collection button. Now what this does is it will remove it completely. So the Blender file that's been saved into your app data will get deleted once you remove collection here. Once you hit remove, bang, it's gone. That's it, it no longer exists on your PC. It's not there. You wanna add it back, then you have to add it back to your collections catalog. That's the only way. But yeah, this, hot, this tool, the whole reason behind this tool is just to make life easier when it comes to Blender, when it comes to skinning guns. Just add into your collections catalog. There's no need to have a file anymore. But yeah, no, this has been the, uh, the tutorial on how to use it.
I look forward to um, seeing what you guys create because I know this is going to make a lot of more people want to do things because we're trying to make Blender user-friendly and easy. With all our tools that we have, it's, it just makes skin in the gun for Daisy fun. It takes away the boring coding. It takes away the breaking down bit. We're doing it for the Daisy community to make skin in guns a lot more fun and to just make Blender more enjoyable. But anyway, on behalf of Flanker.com, my name is Fizzy. Be sure to check out our website and our YouTube and like this video. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next time when we probably bring out something new. Bye-bye.